I just turned on the camera in the middle of my vision quest. I am in the middle of Joshua Tree by myself in this gorgeous desert because solitude is one of the most powerful medicines. Due to all of the technology, all of the engagement with other people in person and especially on technology, I like to come out into nature completely alone, sit my butt on the earth, not even have a journal with me, and just listen. Discover what wants to be expressed from inside and discover what messages come in from the outside. The natural world is such a magical and beautiful resource. As soon as I arrived here today, my first step out of my car, literally within six feet, I saw this massive bushy tail peering out through the rocks and it furtively like crawled under something. My curiosity just like followed it and like climbed a rock and got around it. And behold, this gorgeous kit fox with this bushy tail and this gorgeous creature. And then right behind it was a teeny baby fox. And the mama fox just stood there looking at me with such confidence and such power and discernment. We stood there for three minutes, which felt like an eternity, looking at each other, just taking each other in. And it felt like a divine appointment. It felt like this is where I'm meant to be. And the connection was so beautiful because all three of us were standing there, creatures of nature, total curiosity, open hearts, and full presence. And then the little baby walked into a teeny little sliver, a teeny crevice, just slid into it. And it knew its little trail, and the mom went all the way on the other side, probably to meet it on the other side, and they just look so happy. So the reason I came out into this desert on my own is because this is how I reset. This is how I remember who I am. If you do need to heal your life or you want to evoke a greater sense of your purpose or you want to feel alive and invigorated and inspired or if you simply have a burning question that you want answered and you've been seeking all these outer resources to find the answer to, the answer is inside of you, right? The answer can only be uncovered from within you, but typically our world is so noisy and so drowned out by hype and chaos and noise that that still small voice inside that just wants to be heard can't be heard. So if you do seek any of those things that I just mentioned, I highly suggest a vision quest. It doesn't have to be an overnight by yourself in a desert like I'm doing. It could be four hours on a gorgeous hiking trail with just water, some fruit or something, and just be with what is. Jason and I are about to start the coach training program. I love to do this before a big, glorious program like this because we're going on a journey with a beautiful group of souls from around the world doing deep work. And this is how, as a coach, as a trainer, I plug in and ensure that I'm tapped into the highest possibility, the highest level of wisdom, the greatest level of power within myself in order to support each person in the greatest way. If you are wanting to do incredible work in this world, it is so important to be plugged in to the great vast wisdom inside of you. And I assure you that the great vast wisdom inside of you is not gonna be found or tapped into through scrolling. You are an infinite supply of guidance and radiance and brilliance and inspiration and you know it. And it can be so confusing because oftentimes if we're plugged into the matrix, if we're plugged into the go, 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 we risk losing touch with our innate clarity and brilliance. And coming out here and being, 
that we tap into the luminary, that we tap into the power, that we're able to remember how incredibly magical we are, just like those gorgeous foxes I saw today. And then as I was walking on this beautiful trail, it just felt so good, setting myself free in this beautiful wilderness. And I took a step and there was a rattlesnake, a gorgeous rattlesnake, uh, crossing the path and we both scared each other. And it just went and like did this like intense like hiss. And obviously I backed away to respect and to protect myself. It was just such a beautiful, another messenger, guidance to be more mindful. It is my personal responsibility as somebody who's training other coaches, working with clients, as Satguru Shankaracharya says, to be the teaching rather than the teacher. If you are here to be a luminary, if you are here to create inspiration in our world, whether it's as a coach or a healer or a facilitator or a transformational presence of any kind, it's our responsibility to be present in our bodies and be an example of a human being rather than a human doing. It's going to be more and more important in our world. If you need to reconnect, realign, recharge your energy, the easiest and fastest way is to get out in nature. I just climbed to the top of that mountain. Yeah, that's what it's like to be alive. That's what it's like to do things that are out of your comfort zone. That's what it's like to come out in nature, connect with yourself. Who cares what anybody says or thinks or expects of you? You are responsible for your life. You are responsible to feel good, to connect, to thrive. And if you have the excuse that you have people in your life who won't let you or you can't or you don't have the resources, it is free to come out in nature. In my brokest moments, do you know what I did? I came out into nature. I had no idea what I was gonna do or how I was gonna break through financially, but I'd come out into nature and feel rich because I had this resource, which we all have. Lacking inspiration, lacking connection, you have a vision, you have a dream, you wanna be a beacon of light, you wanna serve others, but you feel depleted, come out into nature. Feel the feeling of being a human being who is with nature, who is with your breath, who is with life. And if you need support right now and you're like, I just am so disconnected and I'm so stuck in my head and I'm so stuck in anxiety or something like that, I have something really exciting for you guys. Jason and I have created a four week embodied luminary Embodied Luminary School. This is about us going into meditation and presence together. This is about sharing what the shamans and the yogis speak about, the final frontier, where the truth of life is, where what we're truly seeking lives. We are gonna be inviting you deeply into presence. We're gonna be journeying with you. And for four weeks, we're gonna be asking you, welcoming you, encouraging you to recommit to being a human being rather than a human doing a present luminary rather than a thinking machine okay so if this is something you're really calling in we are so excited we start on May 25th think of this four weeks as a recharge if you know this is for you go to fully expressed luminary.com you'll see all the details there you can register there's an early bird for the next few days and we would love to share this powerful journey with you every bit of it is in real time and of course there will be recordings i am here to support you into recalibrating into the luminary that you're here to be so that we all grab hands around the planet and we walk as the lighthouses that we are here to be Join us for this powerful adventure at fullyexpressedluminary.com.